All right, here we are, game one of Figs versus Koku Show. Uh, I don't know why he's giving his MCs, given the format. He already knows. Yeah, I'm okay. What the fuck? <laughs> I think we're in a voice chat with each other too. So yeah, whatever. So Figs and Koku Show both load up their starting decks. Um, if I'm Koku Show, I'm probably gonna load up Mia first. I want to try and get Mia through. If I'm Figs, it's a bit of a tougher choice for me. I you'd think Alm would be like the right choice, but at the same time, Alm is kind of risky because if he loads up Alm and Koku Show loads up Mia and Koku Show wins with Mia, then Alm and um, excuse me, Eldegon and Sirius lose their easy way out. So. We'll see what these players decided to pick for their starting MCs. It could be anything. Yep, Fig starts with Alm, and Koku Show starts with Marth. Interesting. Um, did they do the die roll? Uh, ah, Koku Show won the die roll. Um, We'll see how much that influences during this set. Uh, so, Alright, yeah, these are both mid-range decks. Nobody's trying to take, like, the stally approach like Penta did during his set versus Figs. Just playing an honest game of Cypher, folks. Just going for face. That is an unfortunate self for Koku Show. Koku Show is playing the Dark Emblem variant of Marth. I did not consider this. Koku Show is playing Dark Emblem Marth, and Figs runs Robin 1 in this deck. So, that could actually be pretty huge for Figs. I talked earlier about how Figs all could struggle to get past any of Koku Show's decks, but if uh, Figs gets some good Robin 1 procs off, that could very well be the advantage. That could give him the edge he needs to pull through in this, this game, so we'll see. Koku Show has two one drop mages on the back line, and Figs will not be able to clear any of them. That is highly unfortunate for Figs. Because uh, both of those mages have a fairly good chance of being able to hit Figs in the face this turn. Um, actually, Ray isn't really that close. We'll see what. Uh, like, maybe if Koku Show gets a dart. Uh, yeah, no, there's no way that Ray is hitting. Um, unless uh, Fig self, that's the only way the Ray hits, but that Ubello is definitely hitting. For those of you who do not know what Ubello does, Ubello is possibly the best one cost mage in the entire game. His skill gives him plus 20 whenever he's supported by a Tome or a Staff unit, and every card of this deck is a Tome or a Staff unit with the exception of Marth himself. It's worth noting that this buff carries over during Figs' turn, Sue, too, excuse me. So if Figs was considering playing a one-cost mage on his front row to clear that Ubello, uh, the Ubello would gain plus 20, uh, and the one-cost mage would likely not be able to clear the Ubello, unless Figs were to play a Ubello of his own, which I believe he does run Ubello in this deck, so that would definitely be a possibility. Um, although Figs, it seems, definitely runs less... Uh, Tome and staff units in this deck than Koku Show does in his deck. Koku Show, everything is a Tome slash staff unit except for Marth himself. Meanwhile, Figs has that Naoi, both Robin 1 and 2, uh, Faye. But yeah, Figs is going to get a Robin 1 check off there. That's going to give himself an extra orb. Uh, give him a pretty sizable hand advantage. That's going to be pretty nice for him. Um, We'll see if he has any more Robin 1s, though, because he's probably going to need multiple Robin 1 procs in order to really screw Koku Show over this game. Uh, Koku Show feels a Nino on the back line. Uh, so how Marth works is generally if Marth wants to go more aggressive, they'll feel a May on turn 4. If they're aiming to play a more long game, then they're going to try and... Uh, they're going to play Nino and just rack up advantage with the lineage one cost combo. Uh, Figs 
He's not going to allow that to happen, though. He smartly chooses to just pull Nino up. He could push Marth back. I don't think that's a very good play, though, because then that would mean that Ray and Ubello get moved up to the front row, and that leaves uh, Fig Celica, that's on the back lane right now, exposed to attack. Now, as you can see, Kokusho is going to have to field that Bowie on the front line. He could have fielded that on the back line, so that's going to kind of stink for him. Uh, Kokusho gets an unfortunate self there. It's also not getting low costs. Uh, and Figs gets a flyer. Figs is uh, getting quite lucky. Does Figs have an. Oh, and he has another Robin 1. This is highly unfortunate for Kokusho. Figs looking like he has a stronger field. He has more cards in hand. He has the same amount of orbs. Kokusho is just not making anything happen. And it's about to go to Fig's turn, so he's just going to be able to further this lead. This is, this is very good for Fig's. Not so great for Kokusho. This isn't completely unwinnable for Kokusho. Kokusho does have Delthea in this deck, so there is always the Delthea factor. Delthea could come down and just completely ruin Fig's day. But Fig's is going to go back up to a 9 card hand this turn by flipping 2 to get 2 cards with uh, Lissa and Celica. He's just going to keep on getting more advantage. Uh, and Kokusho hasn't gotten anything with Mar 4 3, I think. I don't know. Uh, I think he may have gotten something during turn 3 or 4. I know he didn't last turn, though. It certainly doesn't show if he did get something with Mar 4 3. His hand size is very lacking, especially compared to Fig's uh, Goliath of a hand, that nine card hand. He's sitting very pretty. He has, keep in mind that he has regen two orbs using Robin 1 this game. This is the sheer power of Robin 1 as an anti Dark Emblem tech, and it's the reason why I don't really want to run Dark Emblem in anything outside of like a super dedicated discard build these days. Like, if I'm running Dark Emblem, then I also probably want to have like a Tharja 4-3 or something like that in my deck so I can uh, just power through their Robin 1s. But just running like Lone Dark Emblem and not running any other form of discard besides like Delthea isn't something that I'm really a fan of. Uh, I think that was a misplay on Fig's part because Celica gets 1-3 to three range, so he could have just had Lissa attack that uh, Bowie and then had Celica attack like the Ubello or the Ray or something. Um, but, yeah, Robin 1 is just an insanely good card, and it's kind of a reason why I'm not that big of a fan of uh, uh, running Dark Emblem, unless you're, like, super, you super all-in. Ah, uh, but Figs just intends to do a full clear of Kokusho's back line, so I suppose... Oh, wow discards a Robin with the Mage Emblem. I guess uh, he does that because they have the same orb count. You can't Robin 1 if you have uh, if you have uh, the same or more orbs than your opponent. So I suppose that play makes sense. And yeah, Kokusho is going to Delthea here. He's going to make a dent into Fig's massive hand, but at the same time will it be enough? Fig's still sitting very pretty with a four card hand lead um, over Kokusho. Kokusho does not get a low cost, so that Delthea will not be going to his hand with Marf skill. And Delthea does not have 1 to 3 range here. I almost wonder if Kokusho should have frontlined that Delthea. I can't help but feel like that might have been a misplay on his part. Um, especially considering that Fig Celico will be getting 1 to 3 range this turn. So we'll see. Figs needs to shuffle. Uh, well, he, yeah, okay, he realizes. He's on top of his game right now. He is ready. This man is in the zone. Apologies. Just taking a drink of water. Um, and the Seraphim comes out. Wow! This is, this is looking dire. This is looking grave for Kokusho. Uh, because... Look at all of these backline mages that Figs has. He has three of them. This is, this is like, 
old mid range is wet dream in this meta. Like mid range before field control was super common. This was just the dream right here. Get a shit ton of mages on your back line and buff them all with me. Wow. Just look at how much pressure Figs is putting on Kokusho. And he brings Kokusho down to zero cards in hand. Or zero orbs, my bad, not zero cards in hand. Koku show less cards on field, less cards in hand, less cards in orbs. Figs with an incredibly dominant lead over Koku show. If Koku show somehow had like Celica overclass of this deck, this would be a really good time to use it. But unfortunately, he does not have Celica overclass. Um, I think it's a matter of time, ladies and gentlemen. I don't see Kokusho coming back. This is just the power of Robin 1 right here. This has been illustrated perfectly by this game. A matchup that, for all intents and purposes, like, Marf is basically just, like, better all. <laughs> this is a matchup that should have been, like, a free win for Kokusho, practically. But the fact that Figs has those Robin 1 techs she swung the matchup so hard in his favor, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be Kokusho's last turn. Like I, I, I know I shouldn't count my my eggs before they've hatched yet. Oh yeah, May goes down. Although he could just have another May in his hand to deploy. I feel like if he had another May in his hand to deploy, he would have used it as a dodge. But who knows? Maybe he's respect. Yeah, he could also be respecting the Alm Staff because uh, uh, Kokusho could. Uh, potentially use the arm staff summon a bowie have that bowie swing at the may so that's fair figs could very well play another may this turn we'll see we shall see uh still thinking about the magic emblem um <clears throat> yeah because Koku, i was like does koku sure really have a five card in hand yeah there's no way yeah he's probably gonna arm that bowie out yeah so Never mind, I'm dumb. Smart of uh, Figs to take the hit there, even if he did have dodges for May. And yeah, sure enough, I'm going to be dodging with Celica. Figs still in a very strong spot here. Can he close it out this turn? Let's see what line of play he decides to take. Uh, that Alice on the back line is going to be a bit tr- Oh, the Celica overclass! The Tingo Skra! Pa, pa, ka, ka, ka. Yeah, and Kokusho concedes, recognizes there is no way out because Lissa gains plus 30 from the Celica overclash. She gains plus 30 from the clash change, and Kokusho is going to lose his Ellis. That brings him down to 70. It'll be easy pickings for Figs. Wow, what a what a dominant game from Figs. That's crazy. Robin one, Robin one, ladies and gentlemen. Run it in your decks. Such a good card. Alright. I'm going to pause recording. Start a new recording for game two.